even in the fiery furnace, I will not bow down to any other gods. Welcome to the DCIKZ Live Series. My name is Wangashi Moniki. In the book of Daniel chapter 3, we find a very interesting story. I'm going to read from verse 16 to 18. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If this be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of your hands, O king. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we will not serve your gods or worship the golden image that you have set up. This is a very interesting story in the book of Daniel chapter 3. We are having three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, um, who did not bow down to this big golden image that King Nebuchadnezzar had laid out for himself. And he demanded everyone within that area to bow down and worship um, this golden image of himself. But Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego decided not to. And this is the most intriguing thing about this story, that one, they knew their God was well able to save them from this situation, to save them from the punishment of being thrown into the fiery furnace. They knew that God was indeed able to do exceedingly abundantly above and save them from this situation. However, their stand was, even if they, he did not save them from this situation, even if they died, even if they were thrown into the fire and God didn't come through, they would still not worship that golden image. This is such a place of pause and ponder and seller and meditate and think about how many times do us as believers you know worship God and honor him and serve him because of what he can do to us or what he can do for us how many times do we just you know are in service of God because of what he's able to do and what we expect him to do are we able to say like Shadrach Meshach and Abednego even if he does not come through I will still not bow down to any other God. And so I encourage you and challenge you, dear believer, that you may learn to serve God with all your heart, all your mind, all your strength. But then while at it, you learn to serve him because of who he is and not just what he can do for you. Because even though he does not come through in that situation, he still remains to be God. He still remains to be able. He still remains to be sovereign. And then you can be able to just worship him and serve him even though he does not come through in that situation refuse to bow down to any other gods. Barack Amen. <laughs>